We're live. Hi, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever in the world you are. It's Gabby Burt here from The Journey, and I have Pepe Sommers here today as our guest, and we are talking about good food. Good food is the title of his latest book. It's a, a phenomenal book, and we're going to spend a bit of time talking about this. And we come on um, well, with the intention a little bit early so we can do the technical adjustments to yeah. make sure we are live on everywhere where we need to be live. So this is meant to be on Pepe's timeline and on mine. And it is. And I'm just seeing, are we live yet? Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. I can't see myself. Can you? I can see you. I can hear you. Everything is live and and have you have you shared it across to your timeline? I did. Everything's okay now. I can Fantastic. see Fantastic. So we, I can relax. <laughs> yes, you can. So can I. <laughs> Fabulous. Because it's uh, there is nothing worse than some. You know, you are talking and I'm trying to do something here. This is very very weird. So I'm I'm really really. First of all, thank you for making the time, Pepe, to come here to share. Uh, a subject that I think is really, really important for all of us. Um, as your title or the title of your book is Good Food, that is something that is very important. And I have, well, we've known each other for a long time, a very long time. And when I first met you, um, you had nothing to do with cooking, nothing to do with uh, preparing food or writing cookbooks. I think you were, not I think, I know you were in the um, TV, yeah, I was making, TV. making movies business. And, um, and obviously um, I was, I've been at The Journey so many years, so I'm always at The Journey, but that's how we met. And I think the first question I just wanted to, to put out there for, for all of us today is, what was the inspiration for you to, because I do remember there was a, a turnaround time where you got into, really you got into food. What, what, was, the, what was the inspiration? What did it for you? Well, just a quick lead up, because I've always been a foodie. I've always loved food. I was raised in a family with food. I like to celebrate life with food, still to this day. Um, and I was always a hobby chef. I was always doing so. Besides my work, a busy, busy business, I was always coming home, cooking nice food, and I love to cook. Um, then from the age of 35, I gained weight, 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 and I just did every single diet under the sun until I did the, you know, the shakes and the bars that are allegedly very, very good and recommended by doctors. Anyway, did that, and then I was on a mountain in Italy, scratching my head in the sun, and I took almost all of my hair out. And I thought, this is it. I don't want to do any diet anymore. So wow. from, that on, from that moment on, you know, I started evolving. And then I came to the journey, Conscious Company, and I remember with Kevin doing the first um, Stop the Food fight. It was called Oh, like, yes, of course. Crazy. My God. Great. That was the first one in Europe. And yeah. they, had, they had done one in America and the first one in Europe. And we were talking about food and about how we could inspire people. And basically, that, that's where it kicked off. Because I want to be very, very clear. If you have big, big emotional issues, do journey work. If you have emotional issues that evoke you in eating the wrong stuff, binge eating, not eating, being very autorectic about food, you, ha you need emotional work. There's, I think there's a, 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 a journey intensive coming up this weekend. Yes. yes. So please, 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 if you feel inside of you that that's an issue anyway, then do that. Try to clear out emotional issues. And there's a lot of issues, even when we don't think we have an issue, um, we can have issues. So the, I'm, I'm fully, fully there. But then there's food. So after I did stop the food fight or later on became Radiant Health Retreat, I was okay. I could see these very, very, and I don't want to judge, very, very uh, responsible people eating, you know, little seeds out of a, out of a little container, you know, we could, we could see them also, you know, at Not me. <laughs> Not me. And I would look at them and I would think, yeah, that they, they are pretending it's healthy and I can get that, that it might be healthy, but
but A, they look gray and like paper mache, and B, I don't, that's not me. That's just not me. Food is there also to celebrate the moment. And that's when I started, you know, to basically um, crossbreed my love for food and looking into health. That's when I did it. So it, it's not about weight. People need to understand, stop thinking about weight. The weight is not the problem. The weight is the result of the problem. So we need mm. to backtrack. And so from there on, I've been fully vegan, fully raw vegan, vegetarian. I've done it all. Um, and You've done so raw as well, didn't you? You did, you did a, a quite a stint on, on all raw as well. Yes, 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 I've been all raw. But then after two years, I thought, something's lacking. I'm not feeling, feeling you know, I'm not feeling well. I don't have, I don't, I don't have the energy I had. So, um, yeah, it's an exploration. And, and my, the first, one of the first things I write in my book is um, try not to be rigid. Please, people, don't try to be rigid. Don't try to tell yourself you need to do this. Just you showing you the book. Yeah. Here it is. Yeah, there it is. That's uh, the cover of the book. I wanted to be inspirational. A friend of mine made the picture and was just literally dumping a, a bell pepper in water 25 times. So Michel Nolder is his name. Thank you very much because it, it was exactly the right picture for me because it's fresh, it's new, it's inspirational, and that's the only thing I want to do. I want to show people that if you make better choices, it still can be tasty. So it's good for the body, but it's also very tasty. And... Um, I mean, all the people who eat my food, even people who are, you know, like literally fanatic meat eaters, they're like, oh, God, I don't want to be a rabbit and Ugh, like those kind of remarks. And when they come and have a dinner and a three or four or five course dinner with me, after that, they say, I said, Do you, did you miss the meat? And they were like, oh, no, not at all. If this is the food, I want to eat it every day. So mm -hmm. that's exactly where it came from. I bring it. I bring I bring the food. I, I bring the book back. Oops, it's not going. Yeah, now, now it's the two of us. I bring it back. I bring it yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's basically what my inspiration was. And I, the only thing I really, really want is to inspire people to make better choices that support the body because the body is not. So if we look, for instance, at insulin resistance, we call it, you know, that's a new thing. If we're insulin resistant, we have too much cortisol, too much stress hormone that evokes, you know, insulin. And then the cells, are, they don't want to take, take the insulin anymore, so now the body is wrong. That's all uh, the world upside down. It's just the world upside down. The problem is we take in too many sugars and carbs. And if we take in too many sugars and carbs, uh, our blood, blood sugar spikes, and you know it, it can only take so much, so it overflows in the cells. The cells cannot handle it anymore. They burst out, uh, and they cannot store it anymore. And then we say, oh, our body is, you know, is insulin resistant. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Take a pill and suppress it and make the cells even stretch more and more and more and more so they can take in more. What's wrong with us? What is really wrong with us? I'm very passionate about it. If you think of it, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not a big fan of, uh, of um, you know, let's say the pharmaceutical world and neither I am uh, of supermarkets of the so-called health food. And that's yeah, why we've got uh, Julie. Julie Curtis is saying, "I've tasted some of Pepe's food. Absolutely delicious. I know I have too, Julie. Thank I you. too. Thank you, Julie. And um, I just actually the, the when I can I just share a little bit from my side because the first time I um, you you the book wasn't published, but you started to gather uh, momentum and recipes and." Uh, Pepe thanks has Yvonne. been, pardon? I said thanks Yvonne, That's my aunt from Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, sorry. <laughs> and um, we, in, in the journey, we have a retreat that's called Radiant Health. Well, when we first started, it was called Radical Health and it was all about um, more like juicing or juice fasting, fasting. for a week and allowing all of the issues that no food represents to come to the surface and and clearing it out with uh, with journey process work well we did we did something right in the early days of the journey and i have never ever seen 
so much radical shift and change in people's health by doing that. So we were literally just juicing and um, eating broth and having colonics and massages and journey processes. And I mean, people who walked with a cane on day four were bouncing up the steps, you know. It was that massively fast and it was such an eye opener of what um, the body is capable of when energy is used for healing. So, you know, if somebody really wants to do something or is struggling with an illness, for God's sake, get seek help, find somebody who can support you through that because That's there is miles to be done in, and it's and it's fast it's very very fast what's capable of i have a friend in bali um i interviewed her last year she does uh, she does retreats with water fasting and and she is also a journey practitioner and she combines the both and she said you know the interesting thing is is when people come and don't do journey work alongside the water fast it's kind of a little bit like this. The only results she really sees is the water fasting and journey process work because the issues that have been there don't go away. They don't go away by themselves. That that's that's the issue. And anyway, so then then we came to I think when did we start Radiant Health? Five years ago? Sorry? When did we start Radiant Health? Five years ago? Five, six years ago, yes. Five, six years ago. And and this is a retreat that we started in Corfu. And Pepe was the, um, the, the, the food inspiration behind uh, the retreat. So we did, we did uh, teaching sessions and really looking at all areas, how we hooked with food. And it's, it, it, it blows me away to to actually know how much all of that is linked and during that retreat we do conscious work about that we do a lot of movement work with Dorothy um, with your food pepper and I I was there I think it was the first or second one I wanted to experience it because well I I have to unfortunately and I was blown I was blown away by the food because w nobody Nobody was hungry once. I was never hungry. I, I actually couldn't eat the portions that were dished up and it was it was vegan. There was no no gluten, no bread, no dairy, no coffee, no alcohol, of course. Um, and I think 70% raw, probably, or 80% raw, and um, yeah. some cooked food. It, and and the, the one thing I remember best of all was the thing we got to go to bed with, you know, a little something, you know, something, you know, it's like you've been good all day, now you get a real treat and you, you can go to bed with that. And and it was phenomenal. I, I, I ate healthy, I ate well, it was for a week, I lost weight, I was slim, any, any little tummy fat fell away and... Um, and I thought, this is not difficult. It's not rocket science. And I'm, I'm just a little bit lacking inspiration, you know. I think that's that's my issue. That I kind of, I just don't know what um, what to cook. And so I'm really grateful to this thing. I'm gonna bring it back up again. Da 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 da. And um, I I did have your. Um, there you go. I did have your website. So if anybody wants to know where to where to find your book, it's it's, it's downloadable, isn't it, Pepe? It's, um, it's downloadable. Yeah, it's a digital digital version. It's uh it's downloadable. You can find it on my website. It's very easy. It's like you go to the website, get book, click, click. It's just a couple of clicks away. You get it in your email. <laughs> so uh, and it is it is exactly um, it fills in the gap that happens for a lot of people. They go to retreat, even if it's a water and journey retreat, which is amazing. Even if it's, you know, a radical retreat, people do that. You know, they go and have colonics and everything, but then when they come back, and that was always what, what fascinate, fascinated and still fascinates me is like, how can I incorporate um, something in my lifestyle, yeah. so not diet, let's not use the word diet, 
in my lifestyle that is, you know, uh, um, that you can maintain and that's also inspirational. That's not like, I don't want to have the feeling the rest of my life because I'm a largey that I have to, you know, like not eat stuff, stuff and don't do this and don't do that. There's a lot of don'ts, you know, yeah. with diets. Oh man, so, tell me about it. So I really started looking into like, okay, so if I want to have a nice and crunch, a crunchy burger, you know, I want to have that feeling of biting in a burger with some lovely caramelized onions and some lettuce and some basically mayonnaise and whatever. How can I make that? How can I substitute the things? And you still have the same sort of experience and flavor and, and you eat healthy stuff. That is basically what, where it all started. Mm. And I like spicy food. I am inspired by the Thai kitchen, by the Indonesian kitchen, Chinese kitchen, what you know, like Indian kitchen. I love that. How can we make that in a healthy way? So that's basically um, the start of this book and what I hope conveys in the book. I'm, I'm an idiot when it comes to spices, Pepe. <laughs> I'm spice. I'm spice dyslexic. I can put salt and pepper. <laughs> yeah. I can put salt yeah, and pepper, actually, and perhaps uh, a little bit of fire. cayenne and oregano and stuff like that, you know. But I'm not very good with spices at all. And yet, when I eat at at some of your food or at friends' places, or you know, with with uh, Brandon who is a phenomenal cook and, and her spices are just, I mean, she has a spice tray that is massive and I have no clue how she balances the flavors. And it's like, okay, if I want a little bit more inspiration and something more flavorful and, and make vegetables taste absolutely amazing, what, what can I do? Well, the thing is, it's very interesting because, you know, I, you've seen my kitchen. I think there's about 120 little jars and there's another cupboard full. Of, and to every country I travel to, I, I ask for what is your best music and what is your best spice? And I buy the <laughs> of them because that's where I'm inspired. <laughs> um, and, 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 okay, there, there is some knowledge to be known about spices because every single cuisine has, they call it, a triad. So there's three yeah. spices, three elements that makes sort of the basis. And um, what I want to do is um, pretty soon, I think I'll start the 1st of July, I wanted to upload videos, you know, to, um, to YouTube, um, just to explain those kinds of things. Um, but also, for instance, I start every morning with native stuff. What is native stuff? The basis of it is apple cider vinegar. Why do you take it? What do you put in? How do you make it? So you can literally follow the steps and make it. Wow. And and also, you know, I want to I want to explain explain a couple of things about spices and herbs and how to use them. So there's a lot about knowledge, of course. But if you don't have the knowledge, I want to give it to you in a way that it's very, very easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, very healthy, by the way. Um, <laughs> so um, so I want to start with that and um, and uh, hopefully also inspire you to uh, to make better choices. And also in the book. Also in the book, there is some, it's not only a cookery book in the sense that it's just recipes. It starts also with a bit of my experience. It starts, you know, what, what, what to think about fats. How do I approach food? Because throughout the years, I've literally studied a lot. You know, I'm not a, I'm not a health professional, but I know a lot. I've been to a lot of seminars, trainings, courses, and I read a lot. Um, I really, really seriously, honestly believe that don't, believe what they say in the supermarket anything you read in the supermarket is seriously it's 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 rubbish even the healthy cereals even even sometimes in organic shops you know they tell you stuff it's not what it is so mm. you know eat eat raw produce eat you know single produce and learn how to combine them you know, if you, if you know how to make ketchup within three seconds, you will never eat the ketchup out of a jar anymore. Stuff like that. So I've, I've, I've really heard that ketchup is not very good, neither is mayonnaise. And um, mayonnaise, mayonnaise is actually, I wouldn't say better, but it's actually, yeah, it's better, I would say that, than ketchup. Because ketchup doesn't have calories there. This is a very good, very good um, um, example. 
so ketchup doesn't have any cal or hardly any calories. So people think, oh, that's nice. I can eat ketchup. Sugar. You know? Yes, yeah, exactly. So let's be rich on the ketchup and mayonnaise is fat. Ooh, it's fat, 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 no fat. It's actually the world upside down because in ketchup there's a lot of sugar. They add a lot of sugar in the regular yeah. ketchup, which is yeah. way harder. It spikes your insulin, which spikes your blood sugar, and mayonnaise is fats, and fats tend to slow down, you know, your metabolism. So also in the book you can find if you want to drink juices, add some fat. Put in some olive oil, put some coconut fat. Why? To slow down the whole process, to, 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 to give the body time to absorb the sugar instead of woof. If you know that a croissant, you know, the lovely French fluffy croissant, within, I think it's, a, it's not even a minute, it, it's pure sugar in the body. I, wow. once, I once walked in the supermarket behind a mother and the children, and I like to look into the, into the you know, the, the cards they have and look what products they, they, they yeah, buy. Yeah, I, I do. I'm naughty. I do that too, actually. Very, very naughty. I'm very naughty. <laughs> but the funny thing was, I heard her say something really funny. She said to the child, Stop nagging. I don't want you to have any sweets today. When we come home, your father prepares some croissants with marmalade, and that's it for the day. And I thought, You don't even know what you're saying. I mean, you can, you can, you can give the, the child an ice cream. It's probably exactly the same. I mean, the body doesn't make a difference between. So it's a lot about we don't know what we're eating. And once you know, and once you can make better choices, you know, that's in the whole of life. Yeah. Isn't yeah. it? I've, yeah. Also, journey work. I mean, with journey work, once you know, once you clear out, once there's more clarity, we will never, ever, probably, you know, become enlightened. But it's good to aim for that. And it's also the same with I, health. I thought you were enlightened, Pepe. Now, I might give light, but I'm never enlightened. And I would never pretend that. No, 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 no. <laughs> Spirituality is very down to earth to me, Gabs. <laughs> oh, it, so, is it, so it is to me. Uh, it, it's, it's, um, I think that's what it's meant. You know, that's what it's meant to be. Um, this is this life experience and this life experience. If yeah. We, we are meant to be just spirituality, we would be clouds. We would just be a waft of, of, of we fresh air. We wouldn't, we wouldn't sit here in our physical forms, would we? No. <laughs> and no. I think this enjoying is... life, and I think I so resonate with what you are saying, is, you know, to enjoy life. And, I mean, we're both very lucky. We're sitting, we're in Greece. You're in Athens. I'm, I'm in Porto Heli. We're enjoying the sun. Um, the weather here has just really turned into summer. It's, um, it's fabulous. It's beautiful. And we're looking forward to having a nice few months now, even in lockdown, in, um, in the sunshine and, and near the sea. So very, very lucky here. The sun is something that is very, very healthy. Um, I think um, a, lot of, um, a lot of fallacy has been spoken about receiving sun or taking sun and it is something we all need and so there is there is there is health there but um yes, yes. Some, i'm just want I, I don't want to lose the question somebody had a <clears throat> a question on the side and said i want to order but i don't see the credit yes, card yes. option but I, I i in the meantime i saw she did so thanks maurice i i've seen her i've seen oh, okay. her <laughs> thank you yogi and uh, and thank you everyone who uh, who responds and sharon Lovely, lovely, lovely. Fabulous. Yeah, so it is literally I, what I so, so hope is to inspire people, to inspire people by making them taste food that they think, oh my God, this is lovely, you know? I don't need to have a sausage out of the supermarket because I have a dip that's as tasty and as, you know, sumptuous yeah. as anything else. So it, yeah. it's about... For me, that leverage, you know, it's not about saying to people, stop this and this and this and this and this, and then, you know, just eat a carrot. By the way, that's not a good thing to do, just eating carrots, but eat a carrot. It's not about that. It's about, you know, getting enough lovely foods that makes you forget the other foods. Let's say, okay, now I'm fine. I'm okay. I can do this. Yeah. And, and another thing, um, if once in a while, and with the emphasis on once in a while, you want to splurge out on a big, big ice cream, a bottle of wine, or some horrible, horrible, you know, candies, please do so. Please do so. But know that 
on the regular, on your daily routine, you should eat, you know, more whole food. Thank you, Pepe. So relaxed hearing this. Yeah. <laughs> I do well, enjoy yeah. a glass of wine. You yeah, know, but you know what? I think that that um, rigidity is the most lethal uh, um, of all. I mean, people who are very rigid, who don't, I mean, in general in life, who cannot change anything, it needs to be like this and that. I mean, if me doing it, you know, it's stress. And if we know that stress, uh, you know, that's basically a fight flight mode, produces cortisol, and cortisol mm -hmm. gives a disbalance in our insulin. Yeah. Not a good thing. So, first and foremost, relax. If you cannot relax, please do some journey work, do some process work, go to the, you know, to the, uh, um, the journey intensive this weekend or find anything on the journey side and take care of that and then support that whole process and the body and everything because it's a holistic thing we cannot you know divide and say oh this is my emotion this is my body yeah. this is my psyche that doesn't work that way so yeah. please find, find a solution for that. you know go into process work and also be gentle to yourself ease yourself into it start you know by trying to eat throughout the week the good things and then i don't care pig out over the weekend you know yeah but then come back to the monday so it's it's basically about taking care that the majority of your intake is healthy supportive that's what it's about that's what it's yeah. about yeah I've, I've, I've just added the journey that comes so if somebody is interested um uh, for um, and I know we're sharing we we having this going out live stream on both of our pages. Um, I've been um, I've been with and uh, around the journey for the last 23 years. I've I came to Brandon's work in '96, and um, I have um, I fell so in love with the work that I started to work for uh, the organisation in '97, and I'm still around. So uh, I'm I'm the managing director for. The journey international and it's been a very very interesting time this uh, period of lockdown where all of us brandon and i came back we we were in india and our husbands uh, kevin and and cliff were in australia and we literally skidded in um the day before lockdown happened so 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 grateful that we've made it that somehow it was all very very spiritual and grace guided you know this is not sometimes you can only follow what you think or what you you feel is right and i think this is the connection that's so um that is so important it was one of the most important things for me with the journey is because you know you can spend so much time out here in in your mindset but when you come and come connected to your body to your being to your heart somehow guidance arises and if all you need to do is follow it and that that to me is spirituality that to me is being connected being connected to me which means i'm connected to life i'm connected to those around me and to nature to everything and, and it's, it's a very interesting time isn't it that we all um basically got a slap in the face by whatever i mean if you want to say it's a conspiracy if you want to say it's an epidemic whatever you want to call it and not go into that but it made us slow down it made us you know full, uh, come to a full stop i've been locked down in my apartment in athens for uh, for more than two months and yeah. here in the city it was it was quite grim in the sense that you really couldn't get out of the house so um but it was also an invitation to me to and that's actually the reason i finally finished my cookbook because i said okay what's 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 here now and then it comes down to the primary things it comes down are you around loved ones do you feel good in your own skin and also do you support your body with nice food and food bec becomes you know a, a major part of the day if nothing else is around so you know it's a good a good way to slow down to take some time because also just to come back to the food i've heard a lot of people say yeah but it takes so much time I and mean, it's work you know it's like yes so prepare your own food it, it's work it takes time but it's not as time consuming as most people think it takes prep it takes preparation but if you do that in a very smart way you can have i mean the other week i was with with, with you gaps and with brendan and kev and, uh, and cliff and i made a couple of dips and i told you how to put the dips in a jar under a little bit of oil 
if you have that, you can you can keep it up for maybe a week even. Mm. Every single day you want to eat something, you take out some lettuce, you take some fresh herbs and spices, you take a couple of spoons of these, these dips, you make my uh, flaxseed crackers or my chia crackers, you have a lovely meal. I do it within, well, maybe it takes five minutes. It's done. Amazing. I, I, so flaxseed crackers, I want to make flaxseed crackers because I really want to move away from bread, full stop. Something very There's five, there's five or six recipes um, for bread in my book. Like from ciabatta to flexi bread, from uh, crunchy stuff, from crackers. There's a lot of different things because I also like texture. So sometimes in the mood for crunch, I don't want to eat soft and sloppy food. I just want to have something with a bite. So. And sometimes it's, you know, sometimes in the evening, I don't, I'm not really that hungry. What about soups, you know? You yeah, that's going to be. Thank you. Thank you for the, <laughs> for the lovely. <laughs> For a lovely gift, because that's actually going to be my my next book. I want my next book. Oh. Yes, it's going to be about soups and burgers because I thought, what is sort of fast food if you're in a hurry? And literally, I mean, you can ask my friends. They come home to my home here just to eat soup. They say my soup is the best. So I thought, okay, let's do it. Let's make, because it's very quickly, very easy. If you know a couple of principles, you can make soups within. You can bang it on it within seconds. So soups and burgers. So alternatives for burgers, for crunchy, you know, like meaty texture and full of flavor. So that's going to be my next book. Oh, fantastic. And maybe, and maybe one of the videos I'm going to do uh, next month are going to be about that, how to make a lentil burger or something like that. What I really, you know, this is, this is just my wish list now, Pepe. So what I really would like, well, first of all, I'm going to get a little bit more reacquainted with your book now and, and uh, start to integrate that. But what I really, really would love is, is doesn't even need to be daily, but just, just kind of, there are certain things that you know you like and you kind of make them, but you want something new, you want something different. And, um, and that's what I would like. So I'm really looking forward. So if there was something that you would do where we can follow you, where I can watch you put a shopping list together and watch you put it together in the kitchen and do the spice. Tell us what spices yeah. to put in. <laughs> I'm your fan. Okay. You got got wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, and I got my aunt, Aunt Yvonne. She's also a fan, she just told me. So that's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> so I got two fans. Well. <laughs> what a life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just wondering. I, I, I think I can't see shares that are coming in on your page, Pepe, so I can only see oh. my shares. I'm, I'm not sure. But if anybody who is listening right now has any questions, would like to ask something of Pepe, we're going to yeah, keep sure. this little chat going for a little bit longer. But if you have questions, if you want to know something, Please, uh, please do it now. Just type in um, in the chat box, and um, hopefully one of us will see it. I'm not quite sure if um, what I'm seeing. Yeah. I'm, Facebook is kind of amazing, and um, I'm not. Um, Julie Curtis oh. is saying, "Living the dream." <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are. You are Julie, true, Julie, Julie, and you are part of it. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. What other questions have I got for you? I I, I did a <clears throat> a reminder for this uh, for this conversation today, and I was mentioning the word lifestyle, and so did you. And yeah. um, in in my community of friends, uh, especially through the journey, a lot of the people who come to the journey are often or a higher percentage of women than men. And I know that a lot of women, it's much easier. And I, I, I don't, I don't know whether it's to do with hormones, but I think it's easier for women to gain weight than men. Or I certainly have seen men lose weight much quicker than women on whatever they do. So I, I get a man doing the same thing as a woman, and their weight kind of drops off. And with us, it's like, 
let me tell you. Let me tell you. Then I must have. I have a lot of feminine qualities because the way it doesn't come off with me very easily. <laughs> It's a hormonal, it's, it's everything is, is, you know, influenced by hormones. Our hormones basically determine a lot, they determine yeah. a lot. So yes, that's true. <laughs> and especially um, women, you know, in or after the menopause, that, that the body is changing and it's uh, storing fat in, in, let's say, the wrong places. Yeah. Um, so sure, that's true. So, but I'm, I am convinced, I'm convinced, and I've, I, I experienced it myself, if we stop eating the wrong carbs, so the starchy carbs, so basically uh, uh, potatoes, uh, bread, rice, uh, pasta, you know, regular ones. Um, if we try to avoid that, if we try to avoid sugars, and I have to tell you, that's not an easy thing because sugars are in everything. People who eat meat. Uh, pepper is addictive. I, I, I know because if you try and stop sugar, it's like your body is saying, I need it now. Yes, because it's. I it's think it takes, how long does it take? About three or four days? Yes, it's three, for four, the, five days. Yes, for you to ease down into it. <clears> because, <throat> because the body really needs to start because the cells don't understand. The cells are too full, you know, of yeah. insulin. The body is too full of insulin. There's too much sugar going on. So the cells don't know what to do anymore. We don't give it time because that's another, you know, stupid thing when we say, oh, you have to eat six times a little bit. If you eat yeah. six times a little bit and you take some fruit and then you take a little piece of bread and then you take a little bit of watermelon, you think, oh, that's fruit, that's healthy. And then you take a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Basically what you do is you, you spoon feed these cells constantly, constantly, constantly. Yeah. You don't, they don't get a break. They basically don't get a break to turn the whole process around and say, okay, the cell is now ready, you know, to get rid of the excess, you know, insulin, uh, sugar, to get rid. Because basically what the cell does, if it doesn't know what to do with it, it stores it into fat and it gets mm. fat, starts with around the liver, it's getting fat. And then typically what you see also with women, like I said, I've got the same problem. It's the waste. Yeah. It's basically from the boobs down, it's, it's, it's your bum and it's your belly and that's where the fat stores. That is so typical, you know, of, of, of insulin resistance or of the body saying, you are feeding me too much sugary foods. So if you want to give it a try, cut, you know, those types of things. Just cut them out for, for a while. And there's enough. I mean, there's enough. There's the land of the plenty to eat. Um, and then we support the body. And then the cells get the time to say, okay, now I can start burning off, you know, my excess fat. I can start changing that whole, we also call it metabol syndrome. You know, that's sort of the, the far end. If you've got the metabol syndrome, you're almost, you almost have diabetes. Um, I'm not even talking about that because people say, I don't have that. No, but I'm sure that 99% of the people I know that are a little bit overweight and not only overweight people have issues that are along those lines. Mm. Might not be that severe, but it is because we went. Listen, a hundred years ago, I'm starting to get fanatic about it. But about 100 to 150 years ago, you know about uh, acidic food and alkaline food. Okay, so let's say acidic food is not so good for the body. I'm just simplifying. Alkaline food is better for the body, and it's all about you know that you get the levels right. We used to eat 70 to 80 percent alkaline food and 20 to 30 percent acidic food if you look at the diet nowadays you know in yeah, let's say America, it's just totally around we eat a lot of acidic food we eat food that basically let's not call it food we eat filling that you can buy in the supermarket that basically you know poisons the body little by little by little by little by little and then we say i'm tired i'm fatigued yeah. i don't have any you know, I don't have any energy. I don't have any passion for anything. It has a lot of influence on a lot of our processes on the, on the daily. So it is about trying to think in a different way, trying to swap that whole thing around, knowing that the body is there to, to protect you, to work for you, to bring you back into balance. But then you have to feed it the right stuff. It's, it's yeah. very, very simple. Well, what, what I want to end up with is no more diets, but just a lifestyle of foods that I enjoy, meals that I enjoy. And, and what I do notice is I, I, 
the healthier I eat, the cravings go. The, there yeah. is no, um, I don't feel like mm, I, need, I need something, you know, I, I want a little bit of this or I need a piece of chocolate or the, cra you know, I think if the body is sated in a healthy way, the cravings kind of fall away. And um, so it's the life the, where, where I want to end up with food wise is leaving diets alone and for my body to do what it needs to do and have a healthy lifestyle that includes some exercise that includes healthy and and nourishing foods there's a, a yeah. beautiful nutritionist uh, whose book i've read and i can't think of her name right now and she she said it's like think of food as fuel as as nutrition you know and every time you do something that is not of that quality you know that you're not doing your liver and the body any favors so exactly. um, anyway i've got it's a question here um, sorry i've got a little it's bit basically of basically putting, it's basically basically putting diesel in a car with the fuel tank. with fuel exactly and, and, and that's exactly and then, what and she says. Totally it doesn't want to drive anymore it's like yeah. why there's something wrong with the car no you put in the wrong fuel do you know the yeah. other thing she said this is this was an, a, a real eye opener. She said, "Your stomach, your stomach is about the size of a fist. So what is on your plate? If that's about the size of your fist, it's about the right size. Now you look at your plate on average, how much you've got on your plate, and I'm talking in general. Um, yeah. I, I think we have different body shapes and and different body sizes, but." If, if your stomach gets bigger, then it's just stretched, you know? And if-, if and, then, and then don't, don't forget, Gabs, that our blood, you know, in, in all of our body can have, you know, per time, about a teaspoon and a half of sugar. Now we eat two slices of bread, we spread it with some honey, then we eat an apple, then we uh, drink a juice, then we do, so basically we feed the body almost 20 to 25 times the amount of sugar it can handle in one time in 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 the blood and then we so wonder yeah basically insulin has to come and it has to jack and it has to bring it to the cells and then we get fat and we're like we just ate this yeah we don't even know what we're doing so yeah please get some information i want to share this information too there's a beautiful doctor uh, sten ekberg s-t-e-n ekberg He's a, a, a former decathlete and he's a doctor. He's a physician, he's a doctor and a, a holistic doctor. He's got YouTube, uh, um, um, little YouTube uh, videos that are explaining it very, very, very precisely what is happening in the body. Very, very calmly and you understand it. Great, okay, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to put it up on the screen. I've had um, a question. A question for you, Pepe, from Tom, and he's saying I should ask you. I should ask you, what is your favorite recipe from the book, and why? Okay, it's very easy. There's, a, of course, all of our all are my favorites, but for me, which was really, really, really crucial, were the uh, were the flaxseed crackers. The moment I, because I like bread, I love bread, and I always wanted to eat bread. I bread, you know, with everything. I'm basically I'm a Greek. So Greeks, they, you know, want to have bread, even if you make something, you know, like pasta with the sauce and they say, where's the bread? Yes, we like I know, so, tell me about it. And it tastes so good too. <laughs> a little bit of butter, ooh, lovely, lovely. So um, when I found out how to make flaxseed crackers that could hold basically something that could hold a spread, anything, so, you know, like a pesto or a muhamra or, a, you know, like a hummus or anything, that was, and it was crunchy, that made me really, really happy. So I've got the recipe in, in the book. And um, and that's basically sort of my key, the key moment in my life where I started to think differently. Wow. And they're that's so cool. simple to make. They're absolutely so simple to make, it's ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna make flaxseed crackers tomorrow. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Vicky from the oh, States there's, is here. There's another, thing, there's another thing I want to share. Sorry, I've yes. got two. So, you know, uh, what I also do is when I look into, you know, healthy habits, there's also a lot of things that are in fashion. All of a sudden, we all need to have 
you know, like, um, um, what's it called? Mm -hmm. Curcumas. Um, hold on. The yellow stuff. I say the Greek name. Turmeric. Right. Turmeric. Turmeric. Everybody needs to have turmeric milk. Ah, turmeric milk is a new thing. Turmeric pills, turmeric milk, turmeric whatever. But to be honest, I tried it the first time and I was like, <coughs> this is horrible. I mean, what am I doing? And then they say, add some black pepper. It's really, really good for you. I don't give a blazing bleep if it's really good for me. If I don't like to drink it, I'm just not going to do it. So then I started doing, you know, literally starting playing with the recipe, adding cinnamon, adding some, adding some cardamom, adding some raw, uh, you know, high quality uh, cocoa powder. Um, and so I made a mix also in the book, which is a lovely nightcap. You take some almond milk, you just take a spoon, a little bit of honey, you, you, and it's basically, if you cannot sleep, Take one cup of that, you feel saturated, and it's great. You can sleep like a baby. So those kind of things, that, that's what I like. These are my inventions that make me really But I Look, I can't wait. I can't wait because sometimes I, I, I yes, absolutely. So thanks, yeah, Claire, for can't, you. Can't do, can't do milk anymore. I've got, uh, became lactose intolerant some years ago, even though well, I think I think I may have had an issue all my life, but it um, kind of blew up after no, I. Uh, almost everyone, almost everyone, has a slight intolerance for uh, for lactose because milk sugars are very hard to digest for the body. So you give your body basically a very difficult chore. And I know that eighty percent of the people, if I say drink some milk, eat some very young cheese i'm not talking about you know the parmesan or the old yeah. cheese but the young cheese eat it 80 percent. if i ask them after 20 minutes they have some shape or form of a bloated feeling they feel like like really? that wow that's what happens with milk sugars so why would you do that i mean it's pesto for instance we all know pesto we all most people love pesto i make it with uh, natural yeast and and some uh, some fenugreek seeds and nobody, nobody who I have told that it is a vegan pesto have noticed. They say, oh, this is a great pesto. There's not even cheese in it. I'm, 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 I'm encouraged by, uh, by Tom. He keeps asking questions of you. Um, do you feel that being healthy and in touch with the body leaves more space for mental health and personal development? It's a brilliant question. Thanks. Lovely, my intelligent son. Um, <laughs> uh, it, no, it does. No, I want to meet said, him. When, I hope he comes to Greece soon. I want to meet we will, him. We will. we will start filming the recipes and the, and the little, uh, little tutorial. But it's true. It's true. It's not that one, uh, um, you know, evokes the other, but it's, it's a holistic thing. If I feel shitty in the body, then it's, it, it also has its influence on my day, day routine. What I said to you is that if we're fatigued, there's so many diseases right now, you know, like, like the chronic uh, fatigue or, or uh, you know, um, uh, immune diseases, skin conditions and everything. And we say, ah, oh, I cannot handle it. No, because you don't support the body. So when you start supporting the body, I, for instance, I was always a short sleeper. I slept about, you know, six hours. That was enough. Since I eat like this, it's three to four hours, and I wake up replenished. It's not that I wake up like like that, and most people who know me know that I'm always energetic. There's hardly ever when I have an afternoon dip or an after dinner dip that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it, it's so, true. It is true, I, I, and I think you're you know a, a balanced. Um, you know, if you, if you get your your proteins your your glucose your uh the the yeah. main things that are in a in a in that in a, that the body needs if you yeah. get that in the right quantities um your blood sugars shouldn't you know shouldn't spike go up and down so that, that is something that i definitely have learned and i'm doing much better on and i don't have those spikes myself either so that's something really I'm grateful for and I just I just if I may I just want to come back to the journey briefly because there is <clears throat> there is I think all of us and 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 Pepper you would certainly agree with that all of us we have 
we've got stuff, we carry stuff inside of us that um, we may have accumulated since childhood or may have brought in with us, inherited from our mums and dads and from their parents and parents. So I, I think we all have issues and whatever whatever that may be of, of being needy or being fearful or getting angry for no good reason at all or having self-worth issues and on and on. The list goes on. There, there, there is, there is a, a, a potent tool that is the journey that you can really address any of those issues with. And if we look at clearing those emotional issues, then there is other stuff. Then there is supplementation. You know, then there is healthy recipes, good food. I was recently, I was sharing with you when you were here, I had a beautiful, a beautiful fortune and luck to meet a, a, a famous hormone doctor. She came to one of our seminars, and um, and I think it's one of the most misperceived subjects in on planet Earth. You know, and I'm I'm healthy. I'm I have a strong constitution, and I have good energy levels. And I started on my hormones just a month ago. And within two weeks, my energy bounced up, God knows, by, I can't even say. But you see, when you are in this one level, you don't know that it could be any different. You only know when it's changed. And I think the same goes for emotional background noise. If we have anxiety running in the back, if we have some issues running in the back, we're not aware of them. We only know when we've cleared them out. And so, I think there's a combination of everything. It's not the one thing, you know, it's, but it all comes together. And, and I, one thing I would also say is when we become aware, more aware of the truth and the true nature of who we are, it becomes more natural not to want to dump into this vessel that is our body through which we experience life, you know, and, and, and you want to live healthy. And it's also good, I want to emphasize, it's also good to keep on working on those issues or to any other issue that comes up. I will give you one example about myself. Truus Weismuller, you're right. The old Greeks already said a healthy mind and a healthy body. That's absolutely true. If you don't support your mind and your spirit, it doesn't work. But for me, for instance, you know, I'm, I'm large. So everybody that needs me, I have a lot of people who say insulting things. I don't know if anybody else experiences that, but... You know, for me to say, oh, you only eat that? Well, you must binge eat when you're home alone. You know, you must be a sneaky eater. You know, you're in front of the fridge at night. I'm not. I'm actually not. One of the issues I have, for instance, that's a, that remains to be an issue, and I'm working on it, I'm a social eater. So when I'm by myself, I'm very happy with a leaf of lettuce and a bit of this and a bit of that. Once I'm in company, I am more boundaryless. I have a tendency to overeat in company so you know that's that's an issue that, that that needs work so it's not that when i did the first for uh, when it called, was called stop the food fight i thought now i cleared out all my issues and now, now i'm here this is it you know now i can lead a healthy life man what a disappointment i was to myself a year later because of course it's not true and we don't even phantom what issues can lead into um, using food in the wrong way. You can use it as a gratification. You can use it uh, uh, when you're lonely. You can use it to, to stuff away your anger. You can, there's so many ways we use food to basically suppress what is the underlying emotional issue. So that never stops. Yes, I'm, we're getting better. Yes, there's more peace of mind. Yes, there's more unity in the holistic you know, body and being. But it doesn't say, I'm still on my journey. I still want to lose, you know, like 30 pounds. Yes, please. Where can I sign up? But it's yeah. my journey, and that's what that's the inspiration for this book. Beautiful, beautiful. Well, there's lots of, lots of happy people here who want to read your book, want to follow you on YouTube, and want to be inspired like I want to be inspired on a regular basis with healthy recipes, with good food. And um, something that can be enjoyed. And I think that was 
the purpose of us coming together. I'd, I'd love to take a moment to just say thank you to everybody who's joined us. I'm seeing some yeah, some names here that um, people, but like <laughs> Sorry, Victoria Lith, mom. Hi, Victoria, and I know you hate turmeric, but try the turmeric milk I make and you'll love it. Hi, Vicky. <laughs> Hi, Sharon. <laughs> and Sharon, yes. I can't see any more questions, and um, I think we've we've gone on for nearly an hour. Is there anything else you feel you want to add? No, the only thing I want to add, as from my person, is I always like it when people come together, when people celebrate life, when there's um, when there's love in the room, and love is also expressed in the food. So we need to come away from you know packet food that you buy in packages and, and, and it, that is wrapped up in plastic and that we can just shove in a microwave to, to nuke your food to death. We need to understand that if we if we want to bring love into our lives, it's to have the right company to be conscious about the company, but also be conscious about, about what you put into your mouth. And I hope to inspire people doing uh, making healthy choices, but also making tasty choices. That's all I'm here for. Perfect, 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 perfect. I'm, I'm, I'm just about to have dinner after this, and Cliff has been doing some cooking. And um, since we've been in Greece, he's been growing lots of veggies and salads here and talking about what you have feeling so, so blessed because we have the most amazing courgettes and salads and radishes and kind of every day he comes up with a big basket from the garden. So it's um, such a blessing. I love, to, I love to see Cliff having found his new passion, being in his veggie plot all the time. It's amazing. But he, talking about having love in the food, he blimmin' talks to his plants, you know, so no, the salad no. leaves aren't just washed with love, they're picked, they're grown with love. And you can taste it. Yeah, you can taste absolutely. It. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Thank right you, now, Pepe. Thank you so so much for joining us here. For those of you, stay in touch with Pepe he's on his website. I'm sure you will. Um, if if he's ready with his YouTube videos, he will let you know. Get the book like I do. Be inspired. Follow follow healthy recipes. And enjoy, enjoy your meals, enjoy your lunches, your dinners, the bits in between, whatever that is. Fabulous breakfasts. There's some great inspiration, some beautiful recipes in there. And I look forward to continuing on this path. And perhaps we catch up some other time when the next book is ready. Or the, sure. first, or the first video is ready. I have a beautiful, beautiful journey intensive online this weekend. Yes, we're all very nervous. We kind of like, oh. It's all, no, it's it's all okay. completely, completely new. We we refilmed this whole intensive just as if it were an intensive life with Brandon, and um, so we're gonna have our first go, and we have a pretty full house. Um, Arnold is the co-host, so um, it's it's Amazing. happening um, this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. So if anybody wants to know more. Go on the journey.com. There is all the information about this course. And please find me on Facebook anywhere if you have any questions. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Pepe, for enriching us, uh, inspiring us. And uh, everybody have a wonderful day, a beautiful evening, wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.